Hi everyone, this is Bob Burke, and uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, DJI Phantom 3 SE, and we're going to be looking at the distance that this can go. Um, in a previous video, um, one of the comments was, hey, can we take a look at how far this thing can fly, and what's the video quality like when you get it out as far as you can get it? One of the interesting things about uh, the Phantom 3 SE, one of the hallmark features of it actually is that it's supposed to be able to go a lot further than let's say a, a Phantom 3 standard. Um, for comparison, um, a Phantom 4 uh, with light bridge can, is rated to go um, 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles out. Um, by comparison, a uh, Phantom 3 standard is rated to go one kilometer or about six tenths of a mile. So the Phantom 3 SE is rated at um, four kilometers, uh, which works out to two and a half miles, about 13,000 feet. Um, so this is not just like halfway between what a standard can do and maybe a pro or advanced could do or a light bridge enabled um, Phantom can do. This is a lot closer to light bridge than it is what a Phantom standard could do. So this was going to be a really interesting test to see um, how far out can this thing go and what's the video quality like. So to give you some idea of where I'm at with this, I primarily use this drone for, uh, for um, uh, real estate purposes. Um, so I'm generally not going more than about 100 feet up. Um, maybe a hundred feet in you know in in diameter from the house that kind of thing so I haven't flown this very high and I haven't flown it very far um, the uh, conditions that I flew this in um, it's uh, north of uh, Columbus um, it's wide open fields it's going to be um, uh, farmland that kind of thing um, the weather conditions are absolutely perfect. Um, blue skies, sunny, light winds, low humidity. Um, it's the temperatures in the low 70s. It literally does not get any better than this um, weather-wise. I mean, when they say, you know, these are the distances we give you under ideal conditions, these are ideal conditions. I mean, it, I, I just I went out and I did this test specifically because everything was going to be so perfect weather-wise for this. But I also want to touch base really quick on what I did to prepare for this. Um, I made sure that the drone was fully charged. I made sure my remote was charged. Um, I used an iPad Mini 4 um, as the controller. That was fully charged. Um, the drone itself, I did a compass calibration on it. I made sure that GPS was working properly on it. My flight mode was set properly on it. Um, I uh, changed my return to home um, height um, to, um, I changed it to 75 meters because even though the app is set to um, US standard or what they call Imperial, um, it still shows as meters in there for whatever reason, so don't get confused. You got to do some conversion there. So I set it to 75 meters, which uh, was supposed to be somewhere around 250 feet. So if it did get into trouble, um, it would be able to fly, you know, above any obstacles it would have to come home. But I also knew the flight path that this was going to take, and it's along uh, a major road that runs from north of Columbus to points north. Um, and I actually drove that. I actually drove up a few miles up the road to see what obstacles might be in my path. And the closest I got was maybe three or so miles away. There was some um, high tension, um, tall uh, power lines that I, I'm guessing I could easily have gotten over uh, with 200, 250 feet. Um, and I didn't think the drone was really gonna make it that far. And I also did have a couple spotters with me along the way who were going to be able to, um, you know, kind of be a lookout and make sure, you know, if something did go wrong, I could kind of radio them and say, hey, um, I'm in trouble. And, and I, I could see from the camera where, you know, points of interest were. I could maybe guide somebody to that. So, you know, I did all of those things to make sure 
that this was not going to interfere with anything or, or interfere with um, um, other aircraft or any of that. I was uh, I used the FAA's um, Before You Fly app. Um, I double checked that I was outside of any restricted airspace, the five mile from an airport kind of thing, which I was. And so, um, you know, every, I would, should have been in the clear to run this test um, in every single way. And, I, and again, I normally won't fly this. I normally fly about 100 feet up, you know, maybe a couple hundred feet out. Um, so, you know, I was a little nervous doing this test, but the drone has really proven itself so far. And I did everything I could to make sure the drone could be successful in doing this because I was going to try to run it until it ran out of signal and did the return to home. So I made sure all of those return to homes were done properly. The other thing I'm going to, a uh, piece of advice I'm going to give you, I originally did this test and the drone kept getting stuck at about 1500 feet out and I couldn't figure out why. And then it kind of dawned on me what it probably was. So I brought the drone all the way back sat it down, went into the app, and sure enough, there's a setting, which is right here, and it's it basically restricts how far the drone goes out. And I basically unchecked that box, and then I was able to just fly this thing as far as it could go. So here we are, I'm, you know, without further ado, we're going to, I'm gonna show you the video, it's gonna last for a few minutes, um, I'm going to let this thing fly out, and then we're going to see um, what happens to it. To save some time, I've sped up the video um, up till I lost the signal uh, by eight times. Um, so this would take just uh, a minute or so to get out to where we lost the signal. So at this point, um, we are we've gone to black and white. We've started to lose the signal, and but as you saw, it the the picture was absolutely fantastic, literally right up till it lost signal, and ultimately this uh, lost signal at a little over 7,800 feet, and um, the it ultimately went out over 7,900 feet. And before it finally started turning around and heading back to its return point. So there you have it. Um, you know, DJI uh, rates the SE at two and a half miles out. Um, we got at its longest point out, it got to uh, 7937 feet out. Um, it started to lose the picture around 78, a little over 7800 feet out. Um, so it, it doesn't hit the two and a half miles that DJI says it will. But it did hit a mile and a half out at 200 feet. Um, and again, this was ideal conditions. I can't imagine conditions that would be any better than this. Um, and so, you know, I think this was like your best case scenario. I'd plan on this uh, being able to go out uh, a mile, mile and a half for sure um, with no problems. And of course, I had an SD card in this thing. And uh, I recorded the video on, on with the onboard camera, and it was you know stunning 4K video. It it, it looks absolutely fantastic, um, and so you know the video quality you're getting shot back to whatever devices that you're using to look at this thing was great right up to that mile and a half. You're not going to get two miles or two and a half miles, and and uh, I don't know what conditions you would get uh, have to have to get 
you know above that mile and a half but hopefully this helps you hopefully you know now you know you know I think a mile for sure is safe a mile and a half is, is starting to push it um, but just have your return to home settings set properly and you can run this thing out till uh, till it loses signal if, if you have to so um, I hope this helps you guys thanks a lot bye